Sawa na mfundi, njia kwa mungi ala kwa Isi Zulu Lessons. I wish to welcome you to Isi Zulu Lessons. Should you have any question or questions that you'd like to ask, you may email them to tutoring at bonnybooks.co.za. We do hope that these lessons are helping you. Okay, our lesson today is brought to you by Utisha F. Uh, what is the topic for our lesson today? Our lesson topic today is Inkati <coughs> Elule, the past tense. Okay, what are we going to learn about the past tense? We're going to learn how to recognize it. See, Bona Ganjani. We're going to learn Uguvuma Nugu Piga. So the three things that we're going to learn today, how you recognize the past tense, how you do the negatives, and how you use them in a sentence. Okay. See, how do we recognize that this sentence is in the, in the, in the, in the, in the past tense? <coughs> Let's look at the following questions. I guess we'll get the Misho. Is Ngane Zakezi Funde Eteguini? Tina Sihlale no Koko Epulazini, Bona Bandale Ebola. So the same thing here that happens when we look at the tenses. We concentrate on the verb. We look at the verb in the sentence. Okay. Let's look at the verbs that we have in these sentences. Okay, the first one, Zifunde, Sihlale, and Bandale. One thing common there. So because when you talk about in Gotse Lule, you're talking about something that has already happened. Si kombisa into essayenzekile. So as you see the zifunde, there's an e, sihlale, and badlale. That is how we are going to recognize inkati elule. Okay, I guess we'll get lemish eminye inginai. Izolo, ngipege, inyama. Bona baye e holidini. Abanga ni balale esipelela. Mina ngipuze umuti. Abaza liba kiba kibele indiza. Usisi utunge i maski. O tisha batenge i sanitizer. So in all the sentences, if you look at the sentences, you can see our verb. The verb ends in an A. Peke, baye, balale, puze, bakibele. So this is how we recognize the past tense. The verb that is in the past tense. So we're also going to continue and look at Ugupiga Gwenkati Elule. How do we do in the negatives? Okay. So we are going to look at them again as we did in the past, that we look at the nouns as groups. So if we look at this sentence that I have here, Umushoto Kalo, tu puti ufunde evets. The negative will be uputi aga fundanga evets. Remember we say aga because we are in this group, which is your your o group, your o group. So we say funde, say aga fundanga. U banana ubize imal eningi. Because u banana is not a person, we cannot say aga. We say u banana awubizanga imal eningi. Okay, in the plural form, o tisha base benzega kulu. O tisha bake aba se benzanga kulu. O tamatisi. Bavutwega kulu and otamatesi abavutwanga gakul. Please know that when it's the plural, it's going to be aba. And when it's singular, it's a person, we say aka, aka. Okay. Let's move on to the <coughs> next group of nouns, which is your um aba noun. So umfundi ulale itenis. Because umfundi is a person, is a human being, remember, for people, we always say aga. Umfundi aga lalanga. Abafundi badale. Say abafundi abadalanga. Because it's aba. We say abafundi abadalanga. Then our next group will be your i ama group. Like ikati lipuze ubisi. And we say ikati ali puzanga ubisi. Gadi, ipasi, iashi, ipen, all those nouns will take ali in the negative. But remember, we have that anger, which is also our negative marker. So the negative marker is that we change the subject prefix to, to, to be in the negative form, and then the last, we, 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 we suffix ana. So we prefix and we suffix ali puzanga, amahashi, 
awadlanga. Amashi ale ujan and we say amawash awadlanga. We notice that we all we have this anger in all these vapes, you know. But then what you put as a prefix, then it will depend on the noun group that you are working with. Amagad, we say awa, amash, awa, amapu, awa. If it's your ama, we will say awa. The next group is your isi, isi nouns. Isi kole singene ngo eight, exen, and then we say isi kole asingena nga ngo eight. So if it's your isi class, isi dulo, isi ingwa, isi kwama, all those will take asi. Isi kole si pumengo fonta mbama, o isi kole si pumengo fonta mbama, isi isi kole azi pumanga, isi dolo, isi ngane, azi, isi kwama azi. So if it's your azi, azi pumanga, if it's isi kole, say azi pumanga. And then you um imi nouns, um deni wami ushali kapa, um deni awu ushalanga ikapa. Imindeni yetu ishale ekapa, and then we say imindeni ayi. So in your imi group, we say imindeni imiti. All those nouns will take the ayi, imilomo ayi, imikwako ayi, imifula ayi. Okay. The next group of nouns is your in, im, isin. Ingane ilale esibelel. And you say ingane ayi lalanga esibelel. So all those nouns, ingane, inyoni, intombi. In Bali, all will take I. Isingane, zilale esipelela. Say isingane azilalanga esipelela. So it's your easy. Isingane azilalanga esipelela. And your ulu isin upe pape lupe pugega kulu. And then you say upape alu pe puganga kakulu. Upape, upondo, ulimi, all those ubisi, alu, dulanga, okay? Okay, ubisi, alu. Izi mpape zipepuge kakulu, mpape azipepuganga kakulu. So I'm sure you have all have seen that we have this anger. In all these nouns, we have this anger. Uti, lubase, umlilo. Then se uti, alubasanga, umlilo. Izi, inti, zibase, umlilo. And we say, isn't it azi basanga umlilo? Okay, this is our next group of nouns, your ubu. And here I put together the ubu and the ugu nouns because ubu doesn't have a lot of nouns and ugu doesn't have lots of nouns. So if we say ubu, like ubu, so abu, say abu kulanga, uchani bu kulega kulu, and we say uchani abu kulanga kakulu. Ugula kutulega kulu. And you say, Ugula, Agu, Dulanga, Gakulu. So, yeah, we've looked at all the nouns. So, you can go through all of them. You look at the noun groups and you see what it takes as a negative. Remember, I always say that it's nice when you work with the group, with the, with the group of nouns, the nouns that belong to one group. So, I have this exercise for you today again. Okay? Now come sebenzi, come sebenzi. Say pala le misho ikombi se ubiga. So you're going to write all the sentences in the negative. Remember what you have to do in a sentence. You go to your sentence. You look for the verb. You know, you work with the verb. Dogotela, look for the verb in each of these sentences, and then you change them into the negative. Okay, and then once you're done, take your time. Do it on your own. Don't go back to your notes for now. Check yourself how much you understood. And then once you're done and once you've tried, then you can go on to the next slide. What do we have in the next slide? The next slide has your answers. So you just check your answers and see if you've done them correctly. And if you haven't, you still have time. Go back to your notes and do your revision. So these are your negatives for your past tense. Okay. Gia bonga gakulu. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.